In this video, I will go through step by step how to configure database mirroring in SQL Server 2012. Database mirroring is one of the high availability options that SQL Server offers. At least two SQL Server instances are required for mirroring. The first one will be the server instance that contains the live database. This database is referred to as the principal database. The other server instance will host the copy of the live database, which will be used in an event of a failover. This database is referred to as the mirror database. Now, you can also have a third instance added. This third SQL instance, which is called the witness server, this is going to be used to monitor the other two instances. So if the principal database goes down, the witness server will catch that and will bring up the mirror database, making that one the principal database. If you choose not to use a third instance uh, to serve as your witness server, you will still be able to set up database mirroring. However, you will need to fill over the database manually. With a witness server though, the failover is automatic. So now let's go through setting up database mirroring. I have here three SQL Server instances. This default instance, this I will use to host my principal database. The SQL 1 named instance, I'll use this to host the mirror database. And this third server, the SQL 2 named instance, I'll be using this as the witness server. On the default instance, I'll be mirroring this database, testDB1. In order to be able to set up database mirroring, the database has to be in full recovery mode. So we could double check that here under options and see that yes, it is in full recovery mode. So we are ready. Now the first step in creating a database mirror is to back up the database and restore it onto the second instance in no recovery mode. So let's do that first. We want to take a full database backup. Okay. The next thing is to restore that database backup onto the second instance. And here I'm just changing the physical location for this database file. The thing you need to make sure you set is under options for recovery state this has to be set to restore with no recovery. And this will, as you could read here, it will leave the database in a non-operational state. And it will allow you to add additional transaction locks. So click OK or press Enter.
and now it is restored and if we go to the second instance we see that the database is there and it's in no recovery mode it's still waiting to be restored the next step is to back up the transaction log and restore that onto the second database we can go through the GUI to back up and restore but for this one I will go through tsql commands this way you can see other ways on how you can back up and restore a database the command to back up a database or in this case the log is backup log the database name and then where you want to save the backup to So now the log is backed up, we could connect to the second instance and restore onto there. And just like the full database backup for the transaction log, we also need to restore it in no recovery mode. So now we have our second database initialized and ready to start mirroring.